Hello viewers, if you're shopping for an Android TV stick, you might have found out already that there are a lot of models with varying sizes for memory, NAND flash, and processor types. How do you know what you're ordering is going to be what you get? So this video is going to try to answer that question. If you hop on the Google Play Store, you can download a terminal emulator without rooting your system and figure this out. What I recommend is the Android Terminal Emulator, which is a free app uh, from Jack Pelovich, if I pronounced the name correctly. Um, and um, it allows you to get a shell to your Android TV box. And this shell is the way I'm going to show you how you can determine the memory, the processor type, and the amount of NAND flash. And I'll also explain why NAND flash sizes may not be exactly uh, the same that you find free on your TV stick. Um, so let's begin first by starting the terminal emulator. And we get a screen something like this. To um, find out, for example, uh, some information, you, you're going to need to use your... Um, keyboard and type in a, a few uh, command lines uh, and this is very simple and I'm going to show the exact commands to type so what we're trying to get is information available on the Linux file system usually this is in the slash proc directory so if I wanted to know for example in uh, how much memory you have you know, did you order a one gigabyte memory stick? You would say cat proc slash mem info. Uh, that scrolled by really quickly. Um, and if you have a uh, uh, measly RC12 trackpad or any kind of thing, you can scroll this all the way back to the top and figure out exactly how much memory is um, available. This is the D usually this is the DDR3 memory. Um, and it's right at the top, mem total, if you can see, it's 907.704 uh, uh, or 907 megs. There, it's not exactly one gig because some of the memory may be used for other purposes, such as maybe uh, video memory, uh, which is shared. So this is this stick looks like it's a one gigabyte DDR3 memory stick. Um, now. This is great because uh, we, we, if we verified with the manufacturer, that is the size that they advertise. So next, let's figure out how much, um, uh, what cores, how many cores do we have in our processor? There are some that are single processor and some that are dual processor Android TV sticks. And if you say cat slash proc CPU info, it tells you the type of processor and the number of cores. Now, cores are labeled as processor 0 and processor 1. So in this case, there are two cores. If you only had one core, it would be processor colon 0, and there will be no processor colon 1. So in this case, we do have a dual core uh, processor on this uh, TV stick. Now, uh, it gives you a little other information, such as the features of the CPU. but how about how much NAND flash do we have? Let's figure that out. There's a DF command. And to actually figure this out, you have to look at the left side, uh, the column uh, listed as size, and add up all that. If you look carefully on this screen, you can see that um, 4.3 gigs was allocated to the SD card. So immediately you know you have at least 4 gigs. Or more, and but the actual OS side of it in the file system takes up some of the space. So the way the uh, Android system was set up, it was partitioned with a um, uh, couple mount partitions MNT with 443 megs. So if you basically add up those um, megs, 443.2, 443.2, 443.2. 
5.11.5, another 2 gigs for data, and 126 megs for cache, and the 4.3 gigs for SD card, you come up to roughly 8 gigs. So this tells you that you have an 8 gig NAND flash stick. So hopefully this video was informative. Um, Don't forget to subscribe because we'll be having a buyer's guide on Android TV sticks and covering more Android TV gear. You don't want to miss it. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.